Hey folks, I'm Aaron, and welcome to Ranges, Backstops, and Berms. This is a continuation in our series on reviewing minimalist holsters. In this episode, we will be reviewing the Q-Series Stealth Minimalist Holster, but first, please understand that this is not a paid promotion. I spent my own money for each of the holsters we spotlight here. And for that reason, I can tell you the sometimes painful truth about the holsters we review. So, let's quickly define what a minimalist holster is. What sets the minimalist holster apart from full-size holsters is that they require the holster to be removed from the position of carry each time in order to reattach the gun, and then the gun and holster system can be safely placed back into the position of carry. With that out of the way, let's go over the Q-Series Stealth Minimalist Holster. This setup comes with an attached spring steel clip and provided cordage in case you want to use a lanyard instead. Unfortunately, the Q-Series Stealth isn't set up to accommodate both the clip and the lanyard at the same time, so you have to choose which one you want before using. With minimalist holsters in general, I actually prefer to use both the clip and lanyard at the same time, for reasons I've discussed in previous videos, but that isn't an option with the Q-Series Stealth design. The Q-Series Stealth has a familiar design in minimalist holsters, with the molded plastic rising above the trigger guard, which we will discuss, is a useful feature in this holster. The contact points between the gun and Q-Series Stealth are not only at the trigger guard, but also where the holster grabs onto the gun along the seam where the slide and frame meet. I found this feature interesting, but the hold it provided wasn't as good as it could have been. As well, several other folks who examined this holster were surprised at how loose the gun was in the holster. The belt clip on the Stealth holster is also worth discussing. While it has no ability to adjust for cant, the oval fastening holes do allow a slight amount of height adjustment in the belt line. To me, the clip was the star of the Q-Series Stealth holster system. First, the spring steel clip loop is a complete circle when attached, making it harder to inadvertently come off the belt. Not only is the belt clip highly tuckable, when you do tuck a shirt in between the clip and holster and then use a belt to constrict it, the clip actually locks in the cloth so that the shirt doesn't begin to work its way out. This is a common problem with many tuckable holsters. The makers of the Q-Series Stealth tout the ability to reholster the gun without having to remove it from the belt line. I believe this is a mistake. For your safety, consider treating this holster like all minimalist holsters by first removing it from the position of carry and then attaching the gun away from the body before placing the gun and holster system back into your position of carry. To try and place the gun back in a minimalist holster in the waistline is unnecessarily dangerous. Minimalist holsters are not completely formed like traditional holsters and it only takes one protrusion to get inside the trigger guard to result in a tragic injury. Overall, the Q-Series Stealth Minimalist Holster isn't a great holster. I say that because of the price, which is a little on the high side for what you actually get, but also out of concern for how loose this holster is when it is attached to the gun in the waistline. For comparison, another minimalist holster we reviewed here on the channel was the Mission First Tactical Minimalist Holster. It operates in this same space, but stays snug on the gun when attached and is set up to use both the belt clip and a lanyard together. Remember, no one is paying me for my opinion. This is just to help you make more informed decisions. If you have any questions or comments about the information in this video, feel free to leave feedback down below. Check back as more content about minimalist holsters is coming your way. In fact, if you like what you see, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and catch you next time on Ranges, Backstops, and Berms.